ஸ்ரீ குருவியோ நமகா சில்ட்ரன் யூர் வெல்கம் ஃபார் ஆன்லைன் கிளாஸ் ஏ கலாய்வா கிளாஸ் டென் திஸ் இஸ் யோர் சிக்ஸ்த் யூனிட் சப்ளிமெண்ட்ரி ரீடர் த லிட்டில் ஹீரோ ஆஃப் த ஹால் அண்ட் ரிட்டன் பை மேரி மேப்ஸ் டாட்ஜ் அண்ட் வில் பி ஜஸ்ட் சீங் அபவுட் த ஆத்தர் மேரி மேப் டாட்ஜ் ஃப்ரம் எயிட்டீன் தேர்ட்டி ஒன் டூ நைன்டீன் நாட் ஃபைவ் இஸ் அமெரிக்கன் ஆத்தர் அண்ட் எடிட்டர் அண்ட் நோன் ஃபார் அவர் நாவல் அண்ட்ஸ் பிரேங்கா She was a recognized leader in journal literature for almost the third of the 19th century. So she belonged to the 19th century. She was well known for the journal literature. In 1873, in the midst of an economic depression, Dodge was asked to become editor of the children's magazine. So she became in 1873 a children's magazine's editor and that helped her to continue her writing. she conducted st nicholas of more than 30 years and it became one of the most successful magazine for children with a circulation of almost 70000 copies so here the magazine was st nicholas for more than 30 years she wrote and it was a circulation for 70000 copies she was able to persuade many of the great writers to contribute to a children's magazine so children's magazine she was very specialized for example mark twain lucia may alcott robert louis stevenson tennyson longfellow rudyard kipling etc this non detail is a, a story a really happening story the character in this lesson or peter peter's father peter's mother Peter's friend Peter's brother and sister man walking on the dike so these were the characters this is a true story of a little boy with a brave heart he saved his fellow with a brave act so the boy who is very bold and brave and his act had been it has really happened the thing and it is just told as a story so that you can be brave and having a helping mind Holland is a country where much of the land lies below the sea level. It has a great wall that keeps from their being destroyed by the Nazi. Even the children of Holland know that the hole in the dike which is no longer than a finger can be very dangerous. You know that the sea level will be higher than the land level and your even a um, small born baby will be knowing that a hole in the dike will be very dangerous for the land and for their village and for the people and it, uh, it will be just uh, uh, creating so much uh, disaster for them so your uh, the growing children also will be known and they'll be taught and they'll be brought in such way when peter was 8 years old his mother called him and told him to give a cake to his blind friend in the next uh, village and he went and ma- when mother was giving him and telling her, him to return early so that in the night the travel will be very dangerous so here she advises and just cook the cake a baked cake had been given to him to just give to his friend and peter also was very much interested because he is the blind man was his best friend and he want to take the cake for him it was very energetic and he was very playful so he took in the morning and he just gave the cake to the blind man and he passed the dike and he just gave and he was playing with them and it was uh, evening the sun set has just started so he thought he must reach home as his mother advised him he have to go to home and he was just bidding a bye to his old friend and just started when he was coming on the way he noticed a, a small hole in the dike and that small hole in the dike is very dangerous he knows so what he had done he went and he put his finger little finger in it and he was just uh, um, stopping the water to not to enter the land and he was shouting for the help and it became l- l- night and nobody noticed the whole night with the pain and with the suffering and with the agony and gain was just standing day and this made him feel very 
helpless all night shouting for the help and is, he was having a severe pain and agony in his finger and he was just controlling and calling for the help. Early morning a person who just came for the work, he noticed that, that the 8 years old boy was just lying there and he just sent a word dangerous uh, thing to the people and the people all mend the wall and that man and others taken uh, this fellow to hospital. So he fainted and he had been taken to hospital and his courage and brave and boldness was spread all over the village and he was just awarded. So this is the story, let us see what it is. This is a true story of a little boy with a brave heart and passionate love for his village. Read on the story to find what the little leader of Holland did to save his fellow men. Holland is a country where much of the land lies below sea level. Only great walls called dikes keep the North Sea from rushing in and flooding the land. For centuries, the people of Holland have worked to keep the wall strong so that their country will be safe and dry. Even the little children know the dikes must be watched every moment and that a wall no longer than your finger can be very dangerous thing. So you can uh, understood that Holland is a country where much of the land lies below the sea level. So the land is below the sea level and you know that when water enters the land nobody can be alive. Only great walls called dikes keep the North Sea from rushing in or, and flooding the land. For centuries, the people of Holland have worked to keep the wall strong so that their country will be safe and dry. Even the little children know the dikes must be watched every moment and that old no longer than your finger can be a very dangerous thing. So even a small uh, children will be knowing the danger of the water entering and a, a small hole in the dike will create a lot of danger. Many years ago, there lived in a hole in a boy named Peter. So the young boy, eight years old, his name is Peter. Peter's father was one of the men who tend the gates and the dikes called Sluzy. So his work was to guard the uh, dike uh, gates, there will be a gates in the dike, it will be opened when the boats and ships are entering and he was doing that duty and he was called as uh, Sulis and his duty was Sulis, he is guarding the gates of the dike and he knows and he will be just telling his boy how dangerous and how his work was and everything he will be explaining. He opened and closed the slice so that the ships could pass out of the Orleans Canal into the Great Sea. So the ships can pass near the gate is a, a, a gate man and he will be just opening the gate and uh, just allowing in, uh, the boats and ships to go to Great Sea. One afternoon in the early fall when Peter was 8 years old his mother called him for his play. Come Peter she said. I want you to go across the dike and take these cakes to your friend, the blind man. If you go quickly and do not stop to play, you will be home again before dark. So the mother called the 8 years old Peter and she said, I prepared cake. You can go and give the friend who is uh, living the other side of the dike. And you have, must not be playful on the way. You must go and reach the place and you must uh, give the cake and you have to return early. So this was the advice given by his mother while he starts his journey. So mother gives and he just starts. The little boy was glad to go on such an errand. You know that any person who is allowed alone to go and just uh, come back, it will be a freedom and they will be feeling very happy. So here the same way Peter also feels very happy and he was very happy to go and just feels very glad to go and enjoy the day with his friend blind person. And started off with a light heart, he stayed with the poor blind man a little while to tell him about his walk along the dike and about the sun and the flowers and the ships far out of the sea. 
you know that as an eight years old boy they'll be just wavering and they'll be just thinking that it will be so nice and lovely sceneries they'll be seeing he was just explaining his friend how he was walking on the dike and how the flowers and other bees flying and how he was on the way he saw so many ships and other sounds this all he was just explaining to his blind man and you know that the time have been passed okay so you can see how he is going so this is a dike near the water and he is going he remembered his mother's wish that he should return before dark and bidding his friend goodbye he set out for home so now he was just uh, noticed that it is sunset and it is time for him to start his journey so he bid goodbye to him and he started his journey home as he walked beside the canal he noticed how the rains had swollen the waters and how the beads against the side of the dike and he thought of his father's gates so he was just returning on the dike returning home and when he was returning home he was just walking on the dike and while he was walking on the dike the water rain water made the water more there and it was flashing on the thing and you, you see the lovely sun he was thinking of his father how his father will be in the gate now so that was running in his mind while he was walking i'm glad they are so strong so he was thinking that this dike is so strong and he is so happy he said to himself if they gave away what would become of us these pretty fields would be covered with water father always called them the angry waters i suppose he thinks they are angry at him for keeping them out so long so here he was thinking his father used to tell angry water so that means in the rainy season the water will be waves will be very fast when storm is there it will be very fast his father had experienced it when he was at the work and when this had been shared to the son peter was thinking my father felt to angry water does not that much angry so he was thinking that so angry at him for keeping them for so long so yeah he think that he is looking the water for a long time so he may feel that it is just uh, angry water he is feeling as he walked along he sometimes stopped to pick the pretty blue flowers that grew beside the road or to listen to the rabbit soft tread as they rustled through the grass but often he smiled so yeah, as he walked along he sometimes stopped to pick the pretty blue flowers you know that 8 years old boy he'll be very much interested in the nature too he'll be just going and pulling a violet color flower blue color flower and a pretty blue flowers that uh, grew beside the road or to listen to the rabbits in just running and moving that which making that sound he'll be listening to that sound rabbit sound tread as they rustle he'll be just uh, when it is moving it will make uh, create some sound that all he'll be just listening to the grass but often he smiled as he thought of his visit to the proof blind man who had so few pleasures and was always so glad to see him so here uh, he was very happy uh, to see the thing and uh, listen to the rabbits moving here and there and that sound and he was just watching suddenly he noticed the sun was setting and that it was growing dark mother will be watching for me he thought and he, be he began to run towards home so all of sudden he got in a mind that his mother will be waiting for him and it is sun is setting and it is going to be dark his mother will be waiting so he don't want to upset his mother as he, she uh, gave advice to him while he is going he started running from there just then when he started running oh just then he heard a noise he heard a noise it is slight different from other noise it was the sound of trickling water he heard a sound and he heard the trickling water he stopped and looked down there was a small hole in the dike through which a tiny stream was flowing so he noticed that there was a, a small hole in that and that the water was trickling and that trickling sound he heard immediately see 8 years old boy he was keen in observing and if he had not noticed you know that what would be happen there but here he is uh, even 8 years old was very keen in observing and he noticed the thing 
Any child in Orland is frightened at the thought of the leak in the dike. So any child in the Orland would be frightened and they'll be just thinking what will happen to the nation or their country or their place. They'll be very much fear and frightened. But Peter understood the danger. You know that his father is working as a kid man. He, had, he would have told all the dangerous experience of him. And that made him a wise boy. And the danger, he, at once he understood the danger. If the water ran through a little hole, it would soon make a larger one. And the whole country would be flooded. So he understood that small leakage in that will be big one. And the hole will be so big. And there will be a water flow. And because of that, land will be flooded and people will be facing danger. So he understood the uh, situation and he understood the vision what will happen. So in a moment he saw what he must do. Throwing away his flowers, he climbed down the side of the dike and thrust his finger into the tiny hole. So immediately the flower which he was having, he threw and he understood the seriousness and what is his role at that time. So he went and climbed the dike and he was just put his hole on him, uh, his finger on the hole and thrust his finger into the tiny hole. The flowing of water stopped. Oh, he said to himself, the angry waters must stay back now. I can keep them back with my finger. Holland shall not be drowned while I am here. So Peter felt that I am here to save my Orland and uh, see this water must not enter. I will just hold, I hide the hole in the dike and I will be saving my nation. So that was his responsibility. This was all very well at first but soon it grew dark and cold. The little fellow shouted and screamed, come here, come here, he called but no one heard him, no one came to help him. It grew still colder and his arm ached and began to grow stiff and numb. So very uh, uh, so critical situation. He was shouting uh, for help and nobody heard and he was just keeping, he, he was uh, becoming colder and colder and the pain and agony was there and numb was there in his finger and he was not able to bear it. He shouted again, will no one come, mother, mother. So no one came, so he started crying, mother, mother. But his mother had looked anxiously along the dike road many times since sunset for her little boy. And now she had closed and locked the cottage door thinking that Peter... But his mother had looked anxiously, his mother was waiting anxiously for him and he didn't turn up and she got angry and he thought that I didn't give permission, without getting permission how can he stay? So his mother was thinking in his mind like this but she doesn't know what Peter was doing and she closed the cottage and she went for sleep. Now this Peter was all alone just putting his finger in the hole and it was so cold for him. And he was having a pain and he was just uh, thinking what will happen to him. And he was thinking the comfort his brother and sister having in his home with his father and mother. So this was running in his mind. With his blind friend and that, so here, uh, I must not let them be drowned, he thought. I must stay here until someone comes if I have to stay all night. So he decided that he must not leave and go. So if he leave and go, there will be a lot of danger. So here he thought that he have to save his nation. So here uh, he was putting his finger in the hole and he was just, uh, even if no one is there, he was all right for him to stop there and uh, uh, just uh, think. We'll uh, stop here and continue in the next class, children. To receive our online lesson, please press the subscribe button and you will receive the latest updates.